Hey friends, Mulberry Cultural Center here with another Boredom Buster class. Today we're going to be making foam paint. The supplies you're going to need are shaving cream, glue, food coloring, scissors, some Ziploc bags, measuring cups, paper, pencil, and something to hold your Ziploc bag open. I'm using three jars. I'm also using three colors of food coloring, but you're welcome to use as many as you would like. Go ahead and grab your Ziploc bags and your cups or your jars and put your Ziploc bags inside of those jars and fold it over so it's not gonna be in your way as you're adding ingredients to your Ziploc bag. Once you've got your Ziploc bags all inside your cups or your jars, grab your glue and your measuring cup. You don't have to use two tablespoons like I am, but you will have to have equal parts of glue to an equal part of shaving cream. Once you've got your glue added to all of your Ziploc bags, Grab your shaving cream and do the same thing again, making sure it's the same amount. It's kind of hard to measure the shaving cream, so you're just gonna have to eyeball it, and you can always add more later. Now once you've got all of your shaving cream and your glue in your bags, then grab your food coloring and add it to each bag. You can see the three colors that I chose here. Once you've got everything added to your Ziploc bags, you're gonna close your Ziploc bags really well. Parents, you might want to double check and make sure the bags are closed really well so you don't have a mess. Now you're going to mix the bags all up together, making sure it's one consistent color. Now mine weren't as dark as I wanted them to be, so I added more food coloring. Being that we're using white shaving cream and white glue, you're probably going to need a little more food coloring than you think. Now have the kids design something on a piece of paper that they want to draw out with the paint. Then you're gonna take your scissors and like a piping bag, cut the corner of your Ziploc bag and start piping on your paint. You can use the design that they drew out or you can even freehand any design that you would like. Now, after you're done creating, you're gonna to have to let your painting sit for a little while. It's really best to let it dry overnight. So when you see it the next day, it does look like foam and has a really cool 3D effect. Are you going to try foam paint on your own? Share your creations with us on our Facebook page or our Instagram. We miss y'all and hope you're staying safe. Hope to see you soon.